grow up, like, inside your body? Uh-huh. I know, because I just did. About five times. Wow. wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. I just need to make sure I have everything I'll need. You can do it, Axel. That's right, I can do it. Whatever's on the other side has no idea what it's got coming. All right, here I go. Thanks, Jesse. Right behind you. Be safe up there, Axel. Ready or not, here I come. Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's just dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temple. I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. We need to build a shelter. I totally agree. Wait, but can I just say something? I agree, too. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. Well, let's build a hut. It won't take as long. It's not... That's it, Olivia. Jesse made the call. We should get started. All that work? And we're still eye level with monsters that are trying to kill us. It's done. It's over. We aren't talking about it anymore. We could have maybe done, like, a multi-level thing, but that's too late now. I mean, it's... it's cool. Let's keep it together, guys. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And 
one for Ruben. Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. I'll just... grab something in the morning, or something. Thanks, Ruben. Hey, Jesse, you got a problem with that cookie? If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies? Or ten zombie-sized chickens. Choose wisely. Uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. Petra wouldn't mind at all. She'd want us to keep our spirits up. If I were her, I'd... I don't know, it feels wrong. Fine. Then, uh, we should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split up... Whoa, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know. Because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. He's just trying to help. See? I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this guy telling us what's what. I'm just trying to get ready for tomorrow. You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take that back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I can only take so much. Take it easy, Axel. Easy? He threatened me. He's not going to do anything. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen, why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. Be careful out there. Always am. Add up all the times he was a jerk to us, and this doesn't compare. You're being ridiculous. And if anything happens to him, I'm blaming you. I didn't know it would rain. You feeling good about yourself? He'll be fine. some apples. You are more than welcome to some if you want. Feel free. There's plenty for all of us. Even Axel. Thanks, Lucas. You got up early and did all this? I figure we have to eat. I like to get an early start. Are you apologizing? No, I... I just... I just seriously picked a ton of apples. Okay. I had some time to think, though. I'm resourceful, you know? People always say that. And I am a good friend. 
most of the time, I'm a good friend. Now, yesterday, I wasn't at my best for one second, and it's like none of that matters. Except for one thing. Petra still needs us. I let her down once. It won't happen again. We're in this together now. I'm with you guys. To the end. I'm not really used to having to invite myself along. I hope we're cool, but if we're not, that's fine too. <clears throat> All right, then let's head out. Look at that thing. What is it? Let's get a closer look. the stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Now let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword, oh, and some string from a spider that I fought in the woods earlier. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Thank <laughs> you. 
luck is changing. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. There must be a reason he's never been mentioned. Maybe he was different back then. Maybe they kicked him out. Man, I can't believe you punched a member of the Order of the Stone. This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? They go up. into this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything.
Okay, now I'm impressed. This is what Gabriel wanted us to find. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. Look, Ivor's still out there somewhere. That Witherstorm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two lights. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. But what if she didn't make it? Don't say that. Axel, Jesse's right. Petra might be... gone. If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh... Maybe one of you guys could hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest... ...engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. But obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I <laughs> think Axel meant Eligard, Jesse. Uh, no. I don't think I did. Pretty sure Axel meant Magnus. Jesse, the point is, you should be going to Eligard's. It's the clear choice to make. You've got to come with me. Olivia, you and I are going to Eligard's. Axel, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. What, with that guy? I'm right here? Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine, I'll do it. For Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? Please hurry. Jesse and Olivia return to the Nether, intent on finding Eligard, the Redstone Engineer. And find themselves in a place of mechanical marvels, redstone rarity. Amazing machines, limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out for our intrepid heroes. Everyone, welcome.